if you are here for makeup, stick around, grab a chair, hang out for laughs, giggles, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna make this a quick makeup tutorial because I don't take that long doing my makeup, first of all, and I don't think it should. I ain't got time for that, personally, so I just don't. <laughs> So I'm gonna try to do it the appropriate way, whatever that is. So for those of you who have seen my makeup tutorials before, y'all know I love Rimmel. It's my favorite. It's the only kind I trust. It hasn't given me issues. I just love it so much, guys. I just love it so much. But no, seriously, it's the one of the few brands that's not like $500 for like three things. And so it's affordable. Like most of the things are between three to seven dollars. My eyeliner's three bucks. I can afford that once a week if I need it that often. Hopefully I don't. So how I do my makeup is a little different than most people because why be normal? I ain't got time for that, okay? I ain't got time for that. So I always start with my eyeliner. And I decided to make this tutorial because I wanted to do one of the cool eyeliner tricks that I found on TikTok, right? Because I've been on TikTok a lot. Those of you who know, I've been having a lot of fun with it, by the way. And I wanted to try to do one of their things. So I tried this girl's really cool emo eyeliner, right? I tried it, could not for the life of me. It just looked like, I don't know, I went traipsing through the woods and black mud got on my face and just somehow looked like eyeliner, but like the first eyeliner, you know, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I was like, you know what? I found a way to do my eyeliner that I like. It looks like the emo look that I go for, and we're gonna go with it. If it works for my eyes, because honestly, I think the other eyeliner just didn't work with my eye shape, because I have a different eye shape than the ones I was looking at. So, uh, then the, I have a different eye shape than the girls' tutorials that I was looking at, so that might have just been why, so I have to do it a certain way. Not a big deal. I can still do the similar trick that I'm going to show you. But first, I take the crayon eyeliner because I don't like putting liquid eyeliner here because every time my eyes go black, because I just am that much of a klutz, it's just going to go in my eyes. I tried it for years because I swore by um the Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. I still love it. I still love it because it's very waterproof, okay? I can't even take it off at night. It took me. It takes me um three different tries to get it off my eyes and the third time is in the morning after it's rubbed mostly off. Um, <laughs> but but I also love this because it smudges really well. So if you want that emo look, it looks amazing. I'm talking really, really fast. I feel like I'm in a Gilmore Girls episode right now. But that's okay. That's the goal I go for my videos anyways. It's fine. Um, okay, so yeah. So I do that. Magical, right? And then I take... You know what? I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to try it differently because normally I just do my eyes and then I do everything else. So, but it might be part of my eyeliner process. Well, I have. So we're gonna do this first. Also, please don't mind some of the nails missing. Two of them fell off, and I don't wear the thumb ones currently. So, because <laughs> my nails are kind of brokenified, and I'd rather them heal instead of just make them dead. You know. So don't worry. I already washed my face this morning. Ugh. So if you're wondering, I am using the Rimmel Mattifying Makeup Primer. Um, I love it because it's hydrating, which is honestly more of why I have it. So it helps with my dry skin. It's the only reason I wear it. I didn't think there was a point for primer, but I like how it makes my face feel after I put makeup on. It makes it feel really baby soft, so I like that. And I like the extra mattifying look because I don't like feeling shiny. I just like my skin to look kind of, I like the matte look. I do. I really like that look. So we're gonna go with that. Oh. Okay, okay. Then I take the Stay Matte Powder. You can see that. I'm still getting used to this new green light, but I love it. It's very helpful, especially for texture. I don't have a problem. It's fine, okay? It makes me happy. Stop judging me. Uh, but I like this one because it's matte, but it's also a very light. It's a lightweight one, but it's also transparent because I like the pale look. <laughs> I'm pale enough. I don't need to make myself more pale. You know, I don't. I don't. I don't need to do that. And my cheeks are always red. I don't need help with that area. I honestly don't even like my cheeks being so red, which is kind of why I use it to try to lighten those up. It doesn't always work. I kind of just swoop it around. I should probably wear concealer under this because it's probably going to bother some people, but I don't care personally. It doesn't bother me, so I don't notice it after I do my eyes, at least. So it doesn't bother me. I don't really care. So. Cause I only wear makeup for me. I don't wear it for other people. My boyfriend doesn't care if I wear it. He will point it out if he knows that I did it or if I say, hey, I really like how I did this today. It came out so good. And he's like, oh, you look beautiful, babe. And I'm like, oh, you're so sweet, but you always say that. 
God, I'm exhausting myself. Anyways, so back to the eyes. So I take NYX's, surprisingly, uh, eyeshadow base. And after I put the eyeliner on, I just go around. Because I have to go over the eyeliner after anyways. And then sometimes if I'm feeling adventurous, I go under my eye as well. You know, today's an adventurous day. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is the look I go for on a daily basis. What do you think? No? Okay. All right. So then I go in and get my favorite colors normally. Um, I'm going to do two different eyes today so you can see what I'm doing. It's really bothered me that I haven't fixed my nails yet. Um... So, yeah, but they're both going to have purple in it, so don't worry. <laughs> Gotta have a little purple. Okay, so, like I said, I get this. I didn't do that right. Hold on, hold on, pause, 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 pause. I try to go a little bit higher, because worst case scenario, I can do this without the excess. You know? Because I feel like I went too high like that. It's too much, but, okay. That's a little better. Okay, back to the schedule program. <laughs> I don't know where all this energy is coming from. I think I'm just excited that I can make a video and edit it again, and it was really stressing me out that I couldn't. So, we're gonna do one side pink. Who doesn't like pink? Pink, cause you're a girl. That's not the only reason, it's just the Gilmore line. I'm not trying to be offensive to anybody. Honestly, with the pink one, I usually just go over because it's, it's purple. Sometimes I'm careful about it, mm, not today. And then I like to go under the eyes as well for extra dramatic effect. I don't know. I just started doing it one day and I was like, oh, that's super cute. I should do that more often. So I did. And then this side's gonna be green. So what I kind of do is I just outline it. That's all I do. Just outline it. And I use like the brushy side. I don't use this side as much because it's harder to work with, I found. Like, I got so used to using them, right? Because it's all they would, like, give you with your makeup until I actually got brushes for once in my life. It's a new thing, having brushes. Um, and... Because I didn't get brushes until I actually start. Honestly, I didn't buy brushes until I found Rimmel makeup, pretty much. So, yeah. It looks kind of yellow in this light, I feel. But So I kind of do that. I leave a space for where I want the purple. And I'll start filling a little bit more beforehand. Okay. And then I got in my favorite purple palette that Rimmel doesn't make anymore. Rimmel, I'm looking at you. Cause look, I'm gonna need more purple, guys. I'm almost out. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Rimmel. And then, fill it in. Fill it in where the white is. And then it looks like this eye is like Scooby-Doo. It's great. That's honestly why I like wearing purple and lime green together, because it makes me feel like I'm in Scooby-Doo movie or something. And who doesn't want that? And, d full disclaimer, I am no makeup guru. So please don't- This is like lazy girls tutorials here because i like playing with makeup don't get me wrong i do i enjoy it it's fun but i also don't have the patience to do contouring and all that crap so shaping my nose my nose what came out this way so here it is i don't use concealer because this is my face you know like i just i don't know some things i just think are a little excessive and i don't want to spend the money on i just worry about the eyes really um, and now, since this one's over pink, I try to use a little bit darker purple to bring the purple out a little bit more, so it's a little more poppin'. I like it to pop. So, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. And I just go with the excess that I don't want there. Purple's good. Make sure the green blends nicely around. Nice, 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 nice. And make sure the pink is still good around. Nice, nice, nice. Wow. Wow. Then, this is the tricky part. Got a little, got a little, get a little closer here for this part. It's gonna be harder because the thing's like right here in my face. Can't tell. And then I always have trouble opening it because I'm just a challenge all of the time. You know, that's just who I am. And then what I do, since I already put the base of the eyeliner where I like it, I just draw over. That's all I do. I just. And then I scoop up from the end, there, and my eye shakes way too much for this. I 
And then I've messed it up because I'm not talented, but it's okay. We're just going to add more. I try to make it short at first, so then if I do pick it up, I just fix it. I don't even know what it's doing. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, you know what? We're, let's try the other eye. Perfect. I don't. And then this is what happens. You know, it works and then it doesn't work and then it works and then it doesn't work. But damn, putting primer on. But first, definitely helps when you fuck it up. Let me just go fix that real quick. Okay. It takes a lot of practice to get it how you want it. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. It's okay. You know, it's okay. Practice makes progress. Your makeup's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to look how you want it to look, as long as it's kind of cute. It's for you, you know? As long as you like the end look, that's all that matters. Oh, this one wants to have a little extra wing. Okay. That's cute. That works. We'll, we'll give the other one a little wing, too. Look at that. Look, super cute. Look at that. <laughs> like, why is it being girly today? I'm going to try to fix this part, I guess. If I can do that. Nope, just put that up. And some girls have this down, and I don't know how they do it. I'm going to just draw over there and be like, Look, I'm an anime character, and I'm like, damn, how do you do that? You got to make sure it dries with liquid eyeliner, because this shit happens. So, you know, you kind of like blot it to get it, and then I'll fix it. Doesn't always work, but I like to try. And then I'll try to fix my ass, my f ups. Some of this, just to lighten it up, so it doesn't look like I got punched in the face. Cause I don't know how to fix it appropriately without taking everything off, and I don't want to do that. So I just don't. It's fine. Adds adds a gothic grunge look effect, right? It's fine. So yeah, that's kind of how I do my eyes. They're not perfect, but I think they're super cute. You know, I like it. I like how they look usually. And then, surprisingly, I know in previous videos I've said, I don't do this, I don't get it. I've started doing my eyebrows. Now, before you get excited, I don't do anything like crazy. What the fuck's going on here? But I do add it, I do darken it and fill it in a little bit. So, I take my browns that I don't normally wear in my eyes. I take the nice brown and I just fill it in a little bit. Because I heard, uh, I think it was Glam and Glore. She said that she used eyeshadow because... Why buy extra eyebrow pencils when you can just use eyeshadow to fill it in? And I was like, that's bloody brilliant. So it fills in my lovely eyebrows that I like to pick. Keeps the shape that they already have, so I don't need to like add it. Sometimes I'll darken it a little bit though. I don't always like to add the darker color because then I get really self-conscious. About them. And then I don't want to mess them up either and make them look like fucking weirdos. Probably need to pluck them again because they're probably not even, but whatever. It is what it is. Ain't nobody got time for that. So yeah, and now my eyebrows look weird. Hmm. Bothers me. It's fine. I'll just do the sarcastic look. It's fine. Alright, so eyes are done. Except mascara. If you're wondering, I'm using uh, CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blash. Because I needed new eyeliner, or I needed new mascara. And Rimmel was having a moment and wasn't in any stores. So, because they were redoing their line at the time. So, I'm getting some CoverGirl because it's the only other brand that doesn't make my eyes itch. So, you know. And I like to put way too much mascara on because I don't like fake lashes. Because I don't have time for that. I think it's really weird like, the idea to put glue so close to your eye is terrifying to me. So, I just avoid that all together now. Now, my eyes are not perfect. Okay. I'm doing this directly into my camera. I don't have a mirror up here. So, it's kind of a little bit of a wreck, but it's fine. It's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Okay. Sometimes I'll add a little darker under as well. Make it pop a little bit more and 
to line up with things better. Because sometimes like when I do the wings, they go a little too far down. So what I learned is if you just add another layer of eyeliner under it, it doesn't really notice that much. It doesn't show and it's okay. Just fix that up right there. None the wiser. Beautiful. See, no one notices. Beautiful. Magical. Now, should I wear black or purple? I wore purple yesterday, so we're going to try black again today. Oh, and a quick trick I found, um, especially in the wintertime, I get really chapped lips. So it's really hard to wear lip color and have it stay on appropriately. So what I've been doing is before I go to bed, I put chapstick on. Okay, I forget before I go to bed, I put it on right when I get up. So if I'm going to wear makeup later that day, by the time I do everything else, you know, have my breakfast, do all of my other makeup and stuff, um, the chapstick has done what it's supposed to do and my lips are better, softer, and then I can get to color. And I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color because it's the best. It stays really well and it has a really cool look to it. They do have a glossy version as well. For those of you who like the gloss look. I am not the best putting lip color on. But yeah, that's how I do my makeup. And I found a new way to swoop my hair. So I'm not self-conscious about where I've been pulling it. Because I'm still pulling my hair a lot. And it's driving me insane. And I'm super self-conscious about it. So I found a new way to part my hair that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Perfect. <laughs> Just kidding. I do the part and then I'll either wear a hat or a bandana over it. And feel a little bit better about myself. So yeah. 